My name is Rick Rebusell. I'm the Principal Consultant of Business Transition Consulting. Wanted to talk to you today about business disagreements. Now, business disagreements are essential for a successful business and for quality decision-making. And the reason that's the case is that one person's perspective can't possibly absorb the reality of a business situation. The real reality of a business is made up of the perspectives of its customers, its employees, the executives and the owners all involved in the business. And this, by definition, is a multi-person perspective. If decisions are made by someone with authority at the top looking in a mirror, we're not going to get consistently good decisions. And we're going to miss the reality of the business. So coming at it from that direction, we want a decision-making process which involves all the stakeholders and is a group process so that we know what opinions people have. We've done research, we get information, we talk to people who've made the decisions before. Once we've done all that and come to a table where there has to be a vote on a decision, it's likely that there'll be disagreement. The disagreement in and of itself then is not a bad thing, it's an essential thing. It's the only way a group decision-making process can occur. It's what we do with those disagreements that's important. If the disagreements are sort of ignored, or if the people in charge simply have their way with the other people just simply being disappointed or frustrated, we're then planting the seeds of business disputes and ultimately separation of owners. But where there are dis business disagreements and the individual decision-making processes are compared rather than the conclusion about the decision then we have a chance to go to consensus. And consensus is that great situation where everyone is in agreement. We certainly can't get there every time, but we can try. And the first step is to compare the decision-making process. And the first question is, what do we all know? Now, if some people are making a decision based on information that other people don't have, we're going to get differences. And those differences are actually the easiest to resolve. We just make sure that everyone knows the same thing. Now, those of us of the Machiavellian school at various times might say, well, maybe it's a good thing not to tell everything or to hold something back. And to that, I would just simply say, secrets are the co most corrosive thing to a relationship that there is. Keeping secrets is the reason that most relationships dissolve. For that reason, transparency is what makes relationships work and people have to make decisions based on the same information. Now, if the information is the same, there's also a chance that there'll still be disagreement. And the disagreement may come from an idea of value. What's important to each person when they're actually making the decision? Here, it's essential that the various parties be able to articulate their values. And by articulate their values, I don't mean just simply say, I intend to be honest, I intend to be transparent, I intend to be loyal, I have integrity. Those are, are nice statements they indicate good intentions, but they really don't communicate very well. What makes more sense is if values are shared through life experiences, if specific examples can be given. I intend to retire at 65 because that's what I promised my wife I would do. Now that is a core value, that's a statement of value, that indicates future conduct, and it's fair notice to everybody involved. One of the things that can come up 
is if values are articulated and there is in fact a conflict of value that can't be handled in any other way, then at that point, other things have to be done. Now it's possible that something could be worked out. It's possible that perhaps the long term can be shortened so that it's amenable to everybody involved. Obviously there are different circumstances and where values are articulated, those opportunities are there. But in the case where there's a clear conflict of value, then planning can be done to separate in a way that's good for both parties. The idea of a disagreement then in a business should not be a negative idea. It should be seen as an opportunity, an opportunity to understand the reality of the business, to share decision-making processes and to work toward a consensus about the direction the business will take. I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks.